Welcome back to the show. We recently just introduced you to a new segment called Adventures in Coaching. And now we've got Kim Smith joining me on the couch yet again. She is a wonderful business and career coach to help you further your progression throughout your career and your life. And now we're going to talk all things purpose because it's something that's super important. Good morning, Kim. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming back. I'm like yeah. totally nerding out about everything that you're saying, <laughs> only because I think it's so important that people learn all of these lessons that you've been giving us. Yeah, it really is um, a great way to really move your li life forward and to think about, you know, what is your purpose, which is what we're going to be talking about today. It's so foundational to your success. And so let's talk about the concept of mm -hmm. this life and business purpose that we are going to be talking about. Okay, great. And so like what I was saying, it's so important to have a foundation and to understand what your purpose is because so many of us walk through life not really knowing like what makes us tick, maybe what is our calling, so to speak. And a lot of times we run into trouble when we don't really know what that is because all of a sudden, you're, you know, maybe you've been working for many years in a career, maybe you're just starting out and you're like, this doesn't feel right, this doesn't really fit. It's something I thought I was supposed to do but um, it just doesn't really seem to fit. So when I start working with people, we say, you know, I ask them like, hey, have you ever thought about what your purpose is? And they're like, well, what does that mean? And, you know, it really is taking a look at, you know, what is your reason for being? What is your why, so to speak? And uh, we'll go into a little bit more about, you know, how you develop that. Now, as we're talking about purpose, everyone thinks about it kind of differently, mm -hmm. and it's one of those topics that's so broad and so expansive. And so why is it important for people to find their purpose? That way they can drive themselves forward in their career. It is so important because it really means that you're digging kind of deep into understanding what makes you tick and what is going to make you happy. And it doesn't mean that, you know, you have a career that is maybe exactly that purpose. It's not so much what you do, it's your why and why are you doing it. Um, and that comes before what you do. Now you can incorporate your purpose into your career. It can be a direct incorporation. Like for me, exa for example, mine is to help people to reach their potential and their success, right? So I do that full time. But prior to this, I brought that into my career in my marketing and sales careers and said, so, you know, I was with a mindset of like, how can I help people succeed? So it doesn't have to be a direct one-to-one -one cor correlation, but it's really clear, I mean, important to be clear on what it is and why you're doing it so that you can use it almost as a guidepost or a, a, a North star, star, so to speak, when you're making a big decision. Now, as people are at home listening, because you've definitely got me thinking about what my purpose is, how can they start to find and develop their purpose? So it's really a combination of values, passions, and strengths. And what I mean by values are not necessarily like your moral values, but what makes you happy? What's important to you? Could it be connecting with people? Could it be achieving things, risk-taking, um, adventure, honor, justice, those kinds of things. And I've got a huge list of those things that we go through when, when you're working with me in terms of defining like what those values are. And it's also important to look at what your passions are. You know, what is it when you're doing it that you forget everything around you, you know, you get lost in what you're doing. And if you can tap into that feeling and bring that into your purpose, you know, think about what it is that you're doing when that happens. That's also a really key point of like determining your purpose. And then of course your strengths, if there's something that you're really good at, are you good at writing? Are you good at speaking? Are you good at math, science, whatever, you know, what is it that you're good at? You may not even be doing that, that in your current role right now, but like consider that because that all kind of goes into the mix of determining what your purpose is. Which I think is so cool. Even to hear you talk about it, you can see that you are passionate about what you do. Yeah. But we talked about it in the last one where this fills your cup helping other people. Mm -hmm. So then it brings that aspect of passion into it, which is how you know you're in the right spot. You found your purpose, right. not only personally, but when it comes to your career as well. And that's such a unique opportunity and experience for people to sit down, think about it, and have someone guide them through it because this is something I have personally never thought about. Yeah, oh, that's interesting. We'll have to talk about that. <laughs> I know, now I'm gonna like sit down and have you coach me just so that I can develop my yeah. purpose. and it's those aha moments when somebody, you know, suddenly realizes that like, oh my gosh, I haven't thought of this. Here's an opportunity for me to really define my life and determine what direction I really truly wanna go in and what's gonna, you know, fit 
for you know my passions and my values and my purpose. What is that fit? And so once you've helped people find their purpose, how do you guys determine if they are living in alignment with their purpose or not? So that's a, that is a great uh, question. And I like to use the analogy of like being in a little boat riding down the river. If you guys can imagine, we do a lot of, you know, river sports up here. You're in a boat, you know, you hit the side sometimes and sometimes you go into a little eddy and maybe there's some rapids and occasionally you might get thrown out of that boat, but generally you get back on, you're having fun and things are going. But when you're not living your purpose, I mean, that is when you're in flow, right? So, but when you're not living your purpose, it probably feels like you're trying to paddle upstream. And you're going up and hard, you know, you're getting more and more tired. And that's how, you know, it works in life. You may experience, you know, burnout in your job or just like frustration and not feeling like things are fitting. And um, so that's how I like to use that analogy, just to sort of like do that sanity check. Am I living my purpose or not? Which I think is something that a lot of people let go by the wayside here Mm -hmm. because we do live this like extravagant lifestyle of being outside and doing these recreational sports that we know and we love and we're soaking up the sunshine and we're skiing and we're snowboarding and we're river rafting and we're hiking and we're doing all of these things that help us personally stay sane. But when you transform that into your career, it totally can make a difference because it can help with your mental health stability, like you said, it can help avoid burnout and it can lower your stress levels incredibly. Yes, extremely. And I also think it's really important because if you have a major decision to make in your life, maybe it's a career change or you're wanting to move, it's a really great way to sort of like measure up like am is this decision I'm going to make aligned with my purpose? And if it's not, you know, you should really think about, you know, what else you might want to be doing. Now, as people are listening, because I've been listening this whole time, and they're looking for those specific next steps to start finding their purpose, where do you start? So the specific next steps are to really think about, again, you know, what are your values and what is it that is making you passionate about something? What do you love doing? And when you're doing it, you're like in that zone, right? You're in the flow. So that's, you know, you can certainly go, there's a lot online about like how to determine your purpose, but I've come up with a methodology that I think breaks it down a lot more simply than what um, I'm able to find online. And it's confusing. I mean, there's a lot of information out there from individual purpose to business purpose to mission and vision. And I will talk about mission and vision down the road, but, you know, getting clear on your purpose um, is really important. And then you said that magic word right there, flow, because once you get your brain to that flow state and it's easy for you to get up, know what you're doing, be successful in what you're doing, but also not be so overwhelmed that you are experiencing that burnout, your life becomes transformed for the better. Yes, that's certainly the the hope, right? And, And the reason for doing this is to get people to a place where they're happy and they feel empowered and that they know where they want to go with their lives. Now, what is one of the biggest benefits people will see as they start to develop their purpose and kind of define it a little bit better? Really, it is about being clear about where you're going and what you want to do. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? You know, taking that and and what do you feel when you are living on purpose? And then, you know, how do you align it with your life? That's the next step is to kind of look at, okay, I've got my purpose figured out. How do I incorporate that into my life? And it doesn't have to be, like I said, a one-to-one exact, you know, this is my purpose and therefore I'm going to only do this. But how do you bring it into your life, into your relationships, with your family, your, your coworkers, your work? You know, it's, it's, it really is an umbrella that goes over everything that, you, that you're doing. Which I think is one of the most fascinating parts for me, just to hear you talk about this, but then know your story of you finding that purpose throughout your career and succeeding very well in this marketing career that you had for so long, but realizing you wanted more and you wanted to bring these two together, and now you have the opportunity to do both. So I have a couple more questions for you, but one of them is if someone is at is at home listening to this Mm -hmm. and they're like, wow, I feel like I could develop so much by having some one-on-one time with Kim. What's the best way for them to get in contact with you to book you as their coach? Thank you for asking. Uh, You can go to my website, which is adventuresandcoaching.com or reach me at kim at adventuresandcoaching.com. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, Just reach out to me. I'd be happy to talk to you. There's also a little form on my website that tells me a little bit more about you before we talk. And Um, I set up initial calls just to kind of do a little discovery and see if it might be a good fit for both of us. 
It is important that you make sure that you guys click well right. together. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to continue to do these sessions where you can not only help us critically think about maybe our purpose or where we want to grow professionally uh, or personally or mm -hmm. just really to define what we think we should be doing. So mm -hmm. what are some of the other great topics we're going to be covering? So we're going to be talking about some women in business issues um, because I am currently uh, holding a women in business series through the Vale Valley Partnership. And that's been really enlightening for me to be able to work with a lot of women in the Valley and talk about, you know, what are the challenges here? So I'll be talking about that, um, leadership, uh, communication skills. Um, I am going to be doing a segment on business coaching and what that looks like. And so, you know, the topics are endless. And uh, if, if there's anything that you guys want to hear from uh, me about, please be, let uh, Maddie know here <laughs> and we'll go from there. Kim, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me, giving mm -hmm. all of us this great information. You've definitely got me critically thinking about where I want to go and what my purpose is. Right. And I think that's one of the coolest parts about you taking these next steps with people to just help them grow. Yeah, thanks so much. It's been fantastic spending time with you, and I love talking about this. And I'm super excited to be part of the Vale Valley and the business community here and look forward to coming back again soon. Kim, again, thank you so much yes. for being here. Make sure that you continue to stay tuned as we are going to continue to dive deeper in this Adventures in Coaching only because it can help you in so many ways grow better than you knew possible. And defining your purpose is one of those very first steps. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned.